what neurofeedback protocols to use for depression. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, there is a new study out that shows that alpha asymmetry in the frontal lobe, which we've known for a long time, creates depressive symptoms. When we use an alpha balancing protocol in the frontal lobe especially, that can really help people to reduce their depressive symptoms. That's the strongest protocol that you can use. Now, how do you know if that's appropriate for your particular client or patient? On your EEG brain map, you should be able to see if F3 up here in the left frontal lobe and F4 are using beta and alpha in the proper asymmetry. So what the proper asymmetry would be, would be beta being used appropriately in the left, not too much, not too little, and alpha being used appropriately on the right side. When that balance is off, that is what can create feelings of depression and anxiety. So check out the frontal lobe, especially area F3 for asymmetry and train it appropriately. You'll be able to see if it's using excessive beta on the left, excessive alpha on the right, or vice versa. Then you train up or down what there is too much or too little of. Okay, I hope that helps you out. And remember, control your brain or it'll control you.